everyone. Welcome in Crochet Life and Stuff with Deborah, and this is a haul video. A haul and talking about the brand spanking new Dollar Tree. They just put just a couple of miles from it. Let me fix my camera a little bit here. Um, yes, it's brand new. They just built it. We watched it going up, driving by every couple of days going, is it ready yet? Is it ready yet? Is it ready yet? And it was finally ready to open and it's busy AF in there because, you know, we're a small town and there's not much to do. So when you get a new Dollar Tree, that is the excitement in town. Um, thing is though, most everything is about 25 now, but we knew that was coming because that's been talked about all over the country. So yeah, but not everything's a dollar 25. As a matter of fact, I bought two things that were $5 each at Dollar Tree. What? Yep. They've got a Dollar Tree plus section that has stuff up to three dollars and five dollars but one of those things it was five dollars i gotta show you this the sun triple clean oxy it's laundry soap y'all 117 loads and it was five bucks and that's actually a really pretty good price on it so yeah i won't need to buy laundry soap for quite a while considering there's just two of us in the house i have this thing about buying laundry soap for some reason i probably have a year's worth now but still five bucks couldn't pass that up that was a good deal and that's the real honest to goodness stuff. Sun is a brand. It's it's not the fancy schmancy. It's not Gain. I actually don't care for the smell of Gain, so whatever. But yeah, that's pretty nice. It doesn't have an overpowering scent, which I like. Cleans the stuff, does a good job, and I don't have to pick up laundry soap for quite a long time. The other $5 thing that I picked up, and we'll see how this is, was this. The Home Orc 10 Shelf Hanging Organizer. You can hang this in your closet or you can have some kind of a rod situation going on someplace. It's about 47 inches high um, and 6 inches by 11, by almost 12 inches. So 6 inches wide, almost 12 inches deep, and 47 inches high. This is sort of a pinkish, purplish, I don't know, I'm not sure what to call the color. It's going to be tucked away in a room. It's no big deal. Whatever it is. Um, but it was five bucks and I thought I'd give it a shot for that. So we'll, we'll see. We will see about that. Um, something else that I love to get at Dollar Tree is snacks. And sometimes you luck out. Y'all, that's a name brand. Snyder's, the Snyder's Mini Pretzels. I love these things. They are awesome and delicious. The date on them is April 30th, so they're just flipping fine for a while, which is why I bought four bags of them for a buck 25 a piece. That is still not bad because if you go regular retail at like a regular grocery store, you're looking at $3 for a bag of these. Um, when I'm craving salt, which happens sometimes, my sodium levels actually stay kind of low. Um, pretzels will often do the trick. So I like these. They are yummy. I'm going to put that bag of them aside so that I can get to all the other goodies. Or at least some of the other goodies. I didn't bring everything over here. Um, this is from two different trips, by the way, because I have some in there and some over here. Um, these little pouches, there's one with a little pink on the bottom, one with black on the bottom, and one with gray on the bottom. Um, they're great for holding your hook and your stitch markers and your scissors. They call them cosmetic bags, but yo. Who cares? I don't care what they call them. That's what I'm going to use them for. This, I've already taken one pack out of. It's in the Valentine stuff. They are Smarties Love Hearts. And they're big, round Smarties that are bigger than the normal one. Not the uh, the UK and the Canadian Smarties. These are not chocolate. These are the American Smarties. They're kind of a little bit chalky, a little bit tart, um, sweet pressed sugar things. But these have um, hearts pressed into them. And on one side, it's got a little saying... Uh, be mine or you know some little cheesy you know kids valentine saying but I always buy a pack of valentine's garbage like that just for myself at some point clips maybe for my hair maybe for the yarn it's sort of a dual purpose oh I, scrap balls you round, round up a scrap ball let me just take one of these out as you can see and then you clip this onto it boop holds all that stuff together and it's secured. It's not unraveling in your bag of scrap balls. Um, lovey fodder. And I got a bunch of different ones of these. Look. Isn't that adorable? And it doesn't matter that it's got little hearts on it. It's a cute little bear. 
And these are actually scented, which I think is hilarious. It'll probably wear off in not too much time, which is fine. This one is chocolate scented and it does smell of chocolate. This one is also chocolate scented and it smells of chocolate, even though it's pink. Never heard of pink chocolate. And this one is white. Also chocolate scented, but not overly chocolate scented. Like I said, it's going to wear off. There's no big deal with that. Um, got stickers. I often, and, and, and in the, this is the one from the other day. The one from today. Yeah, there's a bunch of this kind of stuff in there. Two packs of these. So if you get any mail from me, you're probably going to get some heart stickers because I love stickers. Scrunchy fodder in blues. They just happen to have them. These are silly, but I like them. These are shower fizzers. You put them in the corner of the shower and it lets up a scent when you're showering because it fizzes out a little bit, but not completely. These are coconut. I have some eucalyptus ones, which I like. I thought I'd try the coconut. Maybe feel like I'm a little tropical for a minute. I'm gonna save some yarn for last. Yes, there's yarn, but not as much as I would want. Just saying. <laughs> I have a watering bucket. <laughs> I thought this was good. You know, buck 25, I'm gonna have to carry water over when I do my, it's gonna be right over there. That's why I'm pointing. Uh, my little seedling thing. So I decided to get that. Let's be prepared. Got some of these. I was looking for these before Christmas time because I was sending somebody something that would hold a candle and I could not find LED tea lights to save my life. Now we walked around Dollar Tree. They had them on four different end caps and on two different aisles because I'm not looking for them right now. Look, look at these little bunnies. They're cute. They're fuzzy friends and they are super soft. These are going to be lovey fodder as well. Like I said, I'm going to make some loveys this year for Rose Lights Crochet because one month they're taking loveys and I think that's something I can handle. So I'll be doing that. Oh gosh, I'm running out of room. All right, what else did I get at Dollar Tree? Oh, another soap type of thing. This smells vaguely of coconut. It's got a loofah in the soap, which I think is kind of cool. I have the citrus one already, and it's actually, it smells like citrusy stuff, you know? So I thought I'd get this for the shower, you know, just have a little coconut scented stuff because I got those coconut fizzes. I guess I'm craving some coconut. I don't know. Oh, I did get myself a treat. We're going to try this. <laughs> Black and white drizzled popcorn. It's chocolate made with cane sugar and sea salt on some popcorn popped in coconut oil well now we have the theme complete more pouches these are like school pencil pouches but they are see-through this is just a little cardboard doohickey they put in there at a buck 25 you want to think and this will even hold a small project if you're someone who like knitting socks or something that's magic to me but if you knit socks this will probably hold it and you can see what's in your blasted pouch put that over there these i thought were so stinking cool for one thing i already had some of these stickers in different colors these pop up off the page a little bit they're very cool i love them they're so pretty um, these are die cuts. What? Big ones, little ones, all the way down. And yes, that's a whole lot of pink. But this was a pink collection of them. Buck 25 for all of that. There was also some green ones, which are green and blue. And for some reason, the package has moved around. It's only the big ones that are up front now. Huge ones. There are little ones behind there and stuff. So you get big and little in there. And just some more standard monarch looking colors in butterflies. Apparently they've got a big butterfly theme um, at Dollar Tree. Okay, this bag is now pretty much empty. So I can start putting stuff in it as I pull it out. Let's see what this handful brings. Oh, look at this. These stickers are so cute. The llama stickers, no problem llama. And these are puffy and kind of stand up off the page. I thought these were adorable. They stand up off the page too. They're super cute little candies. These say stickers that pop up and I think they're just like little bubbles. They look like that candy that, oh look, colors are cool. That candy that sticks to um, the paper and you, you eat it off there like the buttons. That's what they look like, but don't eat these. They're stickers. Um, also got 
hang on, this is going to fall. Let's put that in there. This is one of the cute little notebooks that I found. Look at this. It's a little bee theme with the sort of a honeycomb theme. Comes with its own pen. It's all wrapped up. There's note paper, three different kinds. I just thought that was super cute. Look at that. It says, oh honey, it's got honey dripping on it. Super cute little gifty kind of thing. You know, if gifty things happen. Oh, more of these. Every time I go, I pick up a pack of these because they have a habit of disappearing. I have a cat. I also have a pair of pajama pants that I love to wear that are super fuzzy that shed on everything. I'm gonna see if this will work instead of getting all that sticky stuff because this is reusable. We'll see how well that works. Um, also, paper crafting type stuff. I'm going to attempt to do something. Pop up tape so that st things stand up. Oh, let's start stacking, okay. Here's two more of those little notebook things. Buck 25, y'all. This says, when life gives you lemons, make lemonade, which I love the lemon themes. Of course, I love lemon anything. And on the inside, you get the three different types of paper again. Choose happiness. Isn't that cute? I just think those are adorable. And this final one that I got, and I think they may have had more too. These are just the three that I picked up. This one doesn't say anything on the front, but it is florals. Look how pretty. Those are so cute. And the three different papers that are all floral based. I just love that. That is super sweet. Um, got some wax melts. This has two different scents flavors in each package. Um, this one is one side is carrot cake and one side is pumpkin chai. That just sounds yummy to me, all of it. And one side of this one is maple leaves. I'm not sure what leaves are supposed to smell like, but okay, we'll see. The other side is caramel. Yep, love those. Um, got some glue stuff for the crafty things and got some more lotion and this lotion if you've never seen it I don't know if they have this outside of the US I just think it's funny so I got some it's called utterly smooth hand cream and the whole theme is that it's about cows and udders it, yes it says that it absorbs fast without greasy residue, clinically proven 24 hour moisturization original formula for rough dry skin that's what it says. We'll see if it works. I've never actually tried the Utterly Smooth. I've seen it for years. Now y'all know, y'all know that I have a crayon problem, right? A Crayola problem to be specific. But I did not buy any crayons. No, they didn't have any sets that I didn't have already. Okay. But they did have these. Crayola crayon bandages. Or plasters, as you call them across the pond. I have to open them because I have to see what they look like. Oh, come on. Can I get this open? I just couldn't help myself. I bought two packages of them. There's not many in there, which I think is a shame. Oh, oh, I can see them through the package a little bit. Darn it. I am opening this up. I need a Band-Aid. We call them, uh, everything is a Band-Aid, like, you know nose tissue is Kleenex okay typical bandage from the back oh I can see through because I've got the light in front of me I can kind of see through it oh my god these are super cute I have got to get this open yes I have a Crayola problem I love crayons. oh my god look look that is super cute and I have an owie on my hips. I have an owie somewhere. I'll find an owie to put this on. <laughs> oh, it sticks to my hands. Okay. There. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is the cutest little band-aid ever. Love it. Love it. Love it. Yes. If you see these, if you love Crayolas like I do, pick them up. They're super cute. I don't know how well they work as bandages, but oh my God, they're Crayola bandage. And this one is Cornflower Blue, which is very cool. That works for me. That will do. Okay. Everything else that I got, I think it's just, oh, well, this, I thought I'd try this. Every now and then I like to get a pack of flavor stuff for like a single bottle of water, but I don't buy single bottles of water, so I just make a big glass of water and put it in there and mix it. Um, yeah. But I try the passion fruit. I, I like the cherry pomegranate a lot, and I use, drink those a lot. 
So that, but yeah, that's mostly what I bought. I bought a couple of other little tiny things that I've already, oh, the yarn. How could I forget the yarn? I was going so crazy over the Crayola. Okay. I did buy yarn my first time there. They did not have, I heard some people talking about that in the $5 section, they had like millens, like big packs of them. Mine didn't have that because of course it didn't. But they did have some colors of the Just Cotton that I did not have. They also had some Just Yarn and Just Active, which I already have, which you have seen in previous hauls. Yeah, and I still have a lot of them because I haven't used them all up yet. But in the Just Cotton, which you, if you are unfamiliar, is not actually Just Cotton. Um, it is 85% cotton, 15% polyester. These are 60 gram balls, which is 96 meters. Not bad, but even if it had a buck 25 instead of a dollar, it's still not bad. This is put out by Premier. It is decent kitchen cotton. It's nice. I've made washcloths out of it. It's pretty cool. There's the label, just cotton. This color, let's see if we can keep it from blowing out. I don't know. It is a bright green. It's, it's a happy spring green. It's called bright green. Okay. But it is happy. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's pretty good. It's very light and bright and cheerful kind of springtime. And the other color that I got, same specs except for the color. This one is called turquoise. That's pretty appropriate. I really like, of course, real turquoise usually has more of a green tinge, but you know, we'll deal. That is real turquoise. Got this one I went to New Mexico. Love it. These were fashioned by um, one of the tribes out there that sells their wares um, in the big plaza. So yes, where I was at. Yeah. But this is so pretty. I love this color, this turquoise. It's gorgeous. So yeah, keep an eye out if you've got a Dollar Tree. Even if they go to a buck 25, not everything is that. There's some stuff that's a dollar. Um, a lot a lot of the food stuff they didn't raise the price on. Some they did. Some went to a buck 25. But yeah, you know, what are you going to do? They have the $3 and $5 section now which is cool. Um, that big thing of laundry soap. That was a great deal. Anyway, thank you for coming by for the haul, the Dollar Tree brand new whoop whoop haul. And yeah, I just can't wait to go back. <laughs> it's like a treasure hunt. You never know what you're going to find there. And I'm looking forward to going back and looking around more. And maybe they will have more yarn. Maybe they'll have Lisa Frank stickers again because I can't find my Lisa Frank stickers anywhere. I have a sad. Last time I found them, they were at Dollar Tree. I should have bought all of them, all of them, but I didn't. And now, oh, tragic, pearl clutch, sad face, <laughs> or something, who knows. <laughs> Thank you again for coming by. If you haven't subscribed already, I invite you to do so. Um, if you haven't hit that like button, could you give me a little like and leave me a comment if you would. What is the best thing you have found at Dollar Tree lately? All right. See you very soon. Bye, y'all.